Hi, this is EC Dreyer again, and we're going to be talking about nebulas today. And just like our planets, nebulas are being procedurally generated. All of the programming for these nebulas was brought to you by my kid brother, Paul. Uh, he hates being called my kid brother, but uh, luckily no one ever sees these things, so no harm, no foul. So the first step in generating a nebula, not, not all of the maps will have nebulas, by the way, but uh, there's a strong chance there will be, because let's face it, just looking at stars in the background is kind of boring. The first step towards nebula generation is to create a density map with simplex noise. Then a random fluid force is applied to this density map. And uh, there's a variety of forces that can be applied. Some of them are swirling. Other ones are kind of like microgravity, explosion, sine waves, direction. All these sort of forces will uh, greatly affect the, the end result. And they will generate completely, drastically different uh, nebulas. What you're seeing here are just a few of those examples. So once we've got that, we apply a random hue. Uh, an analog is chosen for this hue as well. That's an analogous color. They're blended using simplex noise. And then point lights are added randomly across the nebula to light it with translucency. And then in order to bring the nebulas to life, uh, I don't know if you can see here in the quality of the video might be a little low, it depends on what setting you're viewing this at, but there's actually some animation to these nebulas, uh, and it's just a subtle alpha noise animation that brings uh, the, the existing nebula to life a bit. And so that's basically it. Uh, most of this is just visual, as you can see. The system can produce a, a pretty wide range of uh, results, but there's really not that much to say about it. So uh, next time we'll be talking about something completely different. It's going to be a bit of a surprise for the few of you that are following this, but uh, I guarantee you it's going to be a lot less technical, uh, a lot more artistic, hopefully. So we'll see you then.